welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning into today's video. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're not, welcome back and thanks for tuning into another one of my vlogs, okay? So this is gonna be like half vlog, half tutorial. So what I had planned basically was I wanna check out this black owned beauty supply store, um, which is about 20 minutes away from my house. Um, and I don't mind driving the extra distance to support a black business. So I know 20 minutes is a little extreme. I definitely have some that are like, um, five minutes two minutes away but I do want to support black business and vlog it for you guys okay so what I had planned was that I'm gonna go to the store um you guys are gonna shop with me and then we're gonna come back home and I'm gonna show you guys how I style my hair with the products that I got at the beauty supply okay so let's go ahead and get into it all right guys so I am here so I'm in the city and if you live in Atlanta, you know, don't be walking around carrying your big electronics, you know, out loud like that. Unless you in a uh, real public place. But yeah, I'm going to talk to y'all when I get inside. <laughs> okay, so I needed to get a bonnet for my niece and they do have the children's breathable bonnet. So that's good. Put that in the cart. And for myself, I got this. So for myself, I got this Eco Styler and I haven't used it in a while, but I'm gonna give it a try. All right, guys, so I couldn't. All right, so I couldn't really film inside this beauty supply the way I wanted to. Um, the guy had music playing, and so I didn't want to get a copyright violation, like, filming inside of there. Um, but I did get everything that I needed, which is good, but I think just to get more footage, I'm gonna go to, like, another beauty supply and just get, like, some extra footage, you know what I'm saying? And I'll shout out both beauty supplies in my video. So... I got this for my sister-in-law. She wanted me to pick up a shampoo for her. Um, she has, she's um, mixed like, she's Asian and Trinidadian. So her hair texture is a little bit like mixed kind of. And so she has like long, um, long wavy hair. And so she wanted something that wasn't gonna be too stripping, but something that was still for her hair type. So I got her this healthy and long fortifying shampoo by Cream of Nature. And this is the aloe and black castor oil, okay? It's good for weak, breakage prone, and damaged hair. And I know she said that her hair is so brittle and thin. So I think this was a good shampoo for her, okay? So I also, for me, I got um, one of my favorite Eco Styler gels. I got the small one because, um, just because I don't like to use gel on my hair that much, honestly. But this Eco Styler gel was my favorite when it first came out. So I figured I'd give it another try for this hairstyle that I'm gonna be going home to do, okay? So this is the Eco Styler Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil Gel. My all time favorite. And like I was saying, I think I mentioned this, I might have mentioned it, but my niece, she has been needing a bonnet that is her size. So I got her a breathable satin bonnet um kid size and so she's gonna love me for this all they had was black i wish they had the pink she would have loved that but that's all right and what else is in my bag oh my sister she tried my hawaiian silky um 14 in 1 miracle worker and so i told her so I told her I would pick her up some if they had it, and they did! So I bought both bottles because they only had two bottles left. So these are hers. That is everything, okay. So yeah, that is what I got from this beauty supply. So right now I think I'm going to just um, skate a little bit, and then I'm going to go to this beauty supply by my house. Um, get what I need for my Instagram content and then um, we're gonna go home and style my hair okay let's do it all right y'all so this is my usual beauty supply store um, I made sure to buy my products from the black owned beauty supply um, but I think someone of Asian descent owns the one that I usually do go to so I'm just gonna go in here and get the footage that I need for my Instagram hello they have literally everything in here. <laughs> it's like the black owned beauty supply had was so small 
and had almost I mean it had a few products but it had like two in stock whereas this has like six seven in stock so you guys can see the clear difference between this beauty supply and the other one and then this one has rows and rows like it's huge in here all right so I need to get this eco styler for my Instagram footage <music> they actually have the Hawaiian silky product in here if my sister-in-law does want it I'm just start calling her name is Janelle <laughs> if Janelle does want it again mm. all right y'all I am home so all right so I am about to film I got my iPhone here and my Fuji is up here okay <clears throat> all right guys so I am home I have showered I rinsed the conditioner out of my hair. Now we are going to style, okay? So I have my products that I got from the beauty supply and I'm just going to show you guys how I'll be styling my hair with these products that I just bought. Um, so what I had in mind was to do a sleek ponytail. I know I just left that, but what I had in mind was a sleek ponytail and then I want to perm rod my hair that's in the ponytail. So I have like a nice perm rod little ponytail and then a nice sleek classy look in the front okay so I'm just going to work through my hair section ooh, section by section lay it down apply my products all of that all right so first I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner and this I did not buy. I already had some of this at the house, but I did run out of my phone, so I had to go get some more. All right, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this Eco Styler. Alright, so basically I'm just working my way through each section with the leave-in and just a little bit of this, mostly on the roots because I want to focus on getting that sleek look in the roots and then we will really define the back once we get to the perm rods. So you guys will see. Detangled. And then I'm taking my gel and I'm putting it mostly at the root. And then I just drift down onto the ends to give them a little hydration as well. But I'm mostly focused on the root. So that is one section. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the sections as well. All right, so I got the back nice and hydrated. So what I'm going to do now that I have half of my hair moisturized, I am going to sleek this part down and then I'm going to focus on this part. That way I won't have to sleek it all down at once. I'll sleek it in two different sections all right so I have two different brushes that I'll be using I have a Denman brush just because with perm rods I need my hair to be super detangled especially in that ponytail it cannot be all clumped and messy and then this is just to smooth it out no bumps um, smooth out the curls okay So this is literally eliminating every kink and knot I could possibly have in my hair. Time to work on the front.
adding it to the ponytail. Before we focus on the back, we are going to make sure the front is nice and sleek, perfect and laid, okay? So I'm going to take my Eco Styler and put some on my edges. So I find that going back in and literally laying it with a whole toothbrush, like I'm talking the entire head, makes it so smooth and sleek, like I'm talking salon sleek, okay? Like you just left the chair sleek, okay? Something about like the mini brushes that just really get in there and really fine brush your hair. Make sure there's not a hair out of place. So do y'all see how smooth that just got? Toothbrush. It literally lays each individual hair. Okay, not a hair out of place. All right, so I got it nice and sleek how I want it. I'm gonna take my favorite scarf, well, my favorite scarf for sleeping my hair, and I'm going to place it on. So now that the hard part is out of the way, let's go ahead and perm rod this ponytail, okay? So I'm just going to take my time, work my way through, and perm rod it all up. And I'm going to make sure that I'm really gentle because I don't want the pulling and tugging here to affect the nice sleekness that we worked so hard on up there, okay? So make sure to just be gentle and take your time, just take your time with this part. So I've got my foam and that's what I will be using.
All right, so the back is all perm rotted up. I thought about doing a perm rods on these, but I think that I'm going to actually perm rod these tomorrow because these are literally dry in like 30 minutes. So instead of me sleeping on perm rods right here, I'm going to just do it in the morning and let it air dry for like an hour or so. And that should take care of like, this is not a lot of hair. This is literally nothing. So it'll be dry in no time. All right, once my hair is dry, I'll be back for the big reveal in the morning. All right, guys, so it is the next day. Um, my hair is completely dry. Well, at least I hope it is. <laughs> you know, uh, up, in the, up, up inside that ponytail, I don't know, might be a little damp, but I got a date tonight, so it's got to come out regardless, okay? So I went ahead and curled these pieces earlier today, and I'm just going to gently take out all of my perm rods. perm rods are out I am going to just gently separate and add some more body in the back so choose your favorite oil um, I'll be using my three-in-one nourishing oil to help me easily unravel these hair is completely done and I love the way it turned out it's just such a nice way to spice up your low ponytail if you don't just want your hair to be out and get frizzy um, perm rotting the back is a good way to give you just a nice and a little bit neater curl pattern so I'm about to be late I'm off to my date um, thank you guys for tuning into this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys